Hi, Jeremy Cohen here for Daddario, and I am here to talk about a little bit about violin articulation, about playing rhythmically, playing in a groove, and some ideas that might help you play a, a better groove, a better sort of rhythmic style of playing. Let's think about just regular bow strokes. Generally, when we play violin, we press into the string with the bow. That's how we get the sound. But I want you to think a little bit about bowing a little bit more like pizzicato. In other words, starting the bow, starting each note with a tiny bit of articulation, the way we pick the string, but doing it with the bow with a little tension and releasing. In other words, the bow, each note starts with a very solid, it goes from silence to a fully sounded note. Notice that I'm not creeping into the note to make the sound, but it articulates right away. And I'm doing this by releasing the bow and letting it drift across the string. Each time I play a note, I'm releasing the tension and putting my arm into motion. And the way that this works in full speed or at a, in a normal piece is if I'm going These are a, a bunch, a series of attack. I'm not pressing through the stroke. You hear that? That way I've got pressure going all the way through the up and the down bow. I'm doing the opposite of that. I'm releasing that pressure and letting the note drift. There's a technique, there's a word for this technique. It's called martelet, but it really articulates the note. And if we're playing jazz and if we're playing swing styles, we want to have a more rhythmic, articulated sound. So I use this, for example. Instead of a more heavily a stroke with pressure on the string, I'm actually, instead of pressing, I'm releasing. Also, this technique really works well in the middle of the bow and in the lower half, towards the frog. So I get a very articulated and rhythmic sound. You hear that has a much swingier feel than if I take that same bowing and take it out beyond the middle or out to the tip of the bow. I've got to press all the way through the stroke. So if I play it in the lower half, relax my shoulder, relax my right elbow, and keep my right arm nice and low, I can have a more articulated rhythmic style. Also, I bring the bow to a stop at the end of each stroke and create a gap, a musical gap that's part of the rhythm. So this kind of bowing relies on the notes as well as the silences between the notes. You hear the sound stop. I get the bow ready for the next attack. And it's a very gentle attack. I don't want to use the word and have you really attack the string. It's just a feather touch because the bow only weighs two ounces. You've got to remember that. So in order to put pressure on the string, you only need to add a couple of grams and let them go, release them. So think of each bow stroke as the release of the tension and not the addition of tension. I think it'll help your playing. It'll make your playing a lot more articulated and rhythmic and probably will up your swing value. Thanks for watching.